Welcome back Clashers, today is the day when we begin our Builder Hall 5 3 star journey. I'm going to make several videos on Builder Hall 5 3 star attack strategies, trying to include as many different army compositions capable of 3 starring as I can possibly find. But I will begin with my absolute favorite troops, the Baby Dragons. These guys are so powerful and if used right they can 3 star a great many different base layouts. Now I realize not all of you chose to focus on upgrading your Baby Dragons first, so this is why I'm going to let you decide which troops or army compositions you want me to use in the next Builder Hall 5 strategy video. Let me know in the comment section and I shall obey. Before we dive into the Baby Dragon attack replays, I just want to address this very popular Builder Hall 5 base real quick that so many clashers are using right now. As I can't find a way to 3 star it with baby dragons, I'll show you how I 3 star it using one of my Builder Hall 4 strategies. Now obviously with this base, um, they want you to attack from the bottom because there, uh, because there are openings there, right? But the crusher is there and usually there are a lot of traps there as well and it could uh, wipe out your giants very quickly. So I like to attack this base from the north side. Now some of these bases do have traps at the north corner as well and it could potentially be, be a problem. But I've found that this strategy uh, almost always gives at least a high percent 2 star. I start with a bomber breaking the wall and then two giants and then the battle machine. Sometimes I begin with the battle machine. It doesn't really matter because you don't want the giants to walk around uh, this inner wall. You want them to go uh, straight inside. Uh, but then notice on the sides I did deploy two bombers to follow the walls and that's very important because without them then these four bombers in the middle would um, would not help the middle but they would get stuck on the walls as well. So that's, that's very important. You want two bombers to remove the walls on the sides so that you can focus the other four on, on the middle section. Now this is why bombers is really good for this base. Notice now once the battle machine and the giants reaches the crusher they will die. However, all these bombers, when they uh, shoot on the crusher, they actually do splash damage on the cannons as well. So they take out the cannons. Now, if you don't manage to do that, then this will end up being a high percent two star because, I mean, without giants, the cannons will take out your bombers in, in a split second. But if you manage to, to kill the cannons with the splash damage, then it is a, a three star. Alright, now let's begin with the Baby Dragon 3 star attacks. I chose to max my Baby Dragons first, so this means I can have a total of 12 Baby Dragons instead of 8. If your Baby Dragons aren't maxed, you can still use these attacks, but only to a certain trophy level, after which the bases will be too strong and 8 Dragons are just not going to cut it. Uh, this base right here is kind of difficult for uh, for baby dragons because the firecrackers and the air bombs are centralized and the archer towers are lowered which gives them a much higher damage output. However, um, there are a few good things here. Two high health buildings aren't protected by any defenses, the laboratory and the, the clock tower. So. Um, I will begin by clearing them and you should always look for buildings like that before you start your baby dragon attack. Um, after that I will uh, deploy 7 to 9 baby dragons around the base trying to separate them enough to keep their rage. And then keep the remaining dragons to deploy where it's needed. And you should always try to be patient with the last baby dragons and use them to try and uh, target any defense buildings that can kill your baby dragons. Um, also, I like to use the battle machine to try to sort of aim it for the air bombs, not just to help kill it, but also to, to help clear the, the area and help the dragons reach it. Now, uh, so I fill up with baby dragons here to, to help kill this uh, archer tower. And then I have three baby dragons left here. So again, for the archer tower because it didn't go down. And uh, after that, now there's only the, the air bombs left, so the, the battle machine would have uh, cleared this base if my dragons would have died. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how I use baby dragons, or one of the ways I use them. I also like to uh, combine my baby dragons with cannon carts sometimes when the air bombs are exposed, like in this base right here. And what I do is I create a small kill squad using the battle machine as a tank and cannon carts behind it. 
Now, you don't want the cannon cards to be targeted by the mortar, so um, you have to be careful with that. And if the mortar is within range, you can simply deploy your uh, battle machine so that it gets targeted by the mortars to protect your cannon cards. And also deploy the cannon cards so that they eventually reach the air bombs. You have to look into the pathing a little bit. But in this, in this case, it's quite simple. Uh, after that is done, then I will start deploying uh, some of my baby dragons around the base. And it's actually a very good trade using two cannon carts instead of three baby dragons to to kill the air bombs because they do so much damage to, to your dragons. So it's well worth it. Uh, now, I will start with uh, one baby dragon on the gold storage there because it's not um, protected. And then another baby dragon here at the bottom to, to tank the firecrackers while I send a third baby dragon for the firecrackers. And then spread them around the base. Now looking at uh, my baby dragons to see which one dies, and then I will um, I will fill up with more dragons. So uh, I will help with one more here on the left side to make sure that Archer Tower uh, is destroyed. And then here at the top right, uh, one baby dragon is going to die. So I'll send my ba last baby dragon for the Tesla, and that is going to three star the base because. Now I have four baby dragons and there's just one firecracker left. So yeah, that's another three star. Sometimes you'll find bases where the air bombs are at the edge of the base but not as exposed. As you can see in this base here, the air bombs are protected by four storages and you know it's going to be more difficult to reach it by uh, with, with a kill squad with cannon carts. So instead of doing that, we are going to save our battle, battle machine to the very end and uh, we're going to use 12 baby dragons to attack the opposite side of this base uh, and you know having 12 baby dragons attack half a base is going to be a lot easier uh, so they will easily manage to destroy all the defense buildings on this side and then eventually when they, they reach the air bombs, they are going to die. But if the air bombs are the only one, uh, the only defense building that's left, then the battle, battle machine can, can uh, three star or, or, you know, clear the rest of the space. So I deploy about six baby dragons here. And as soon as one baby dragon dies, I deploy another one and trying to keep the, the distance between them to keep them raged up. And of course, the defense troops might make this, uh, you know, a bit of a challenge, but you still have uh, a lot of baby dragons, so it's not that big of a deal. I will deploy another baby dragon here to target the archer tower from the bottom, and then one more from the, from the top right. And uh, then I think the last one I will deploy at the Tesla. So uh, these dragons will now take care of all of the defense buildings that can target our battle machine. So he is now free to clear the rest of the space. And it doesn't matter if our baby dragons die either. And they will, obviously. Attacking a base like this, leaving the air bombs, then um, the air bombs will, will destroy our baby dragons. But that's not a big problem now because uh, the air bombs cannot damage the battle machine. So that's another way to three star with baby dragons. This is a base where the air bombs are unreachable by a um, kill squad. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to deploy my baby dragons around the base as usual, uh, but I'm going to try to aim my battle machine for the air bombs to destroy the air bombs. And to make sure it survives, I will use my baby dragons to help tank. Now obviously they cannot tank uh, the cannons, but here I wasn't fast enough uh, to deploy another baby dragon to tank that archer tower. So the archer tower is now targeting my battle machine. I deploy another baby dragon to destroy the archer tower as fast as possible to make sure my ba battle machine stays alive. Um, so it's going to punch through that wall and go for the air bombs. And uh, once the air bombs are destroyed, then this base will be a lot easier to, dis to, to finish. Now the Tesla is left, I don't think it has much health left, but I have a baby dragon and I deploy it for the Tesla, it's down, now this base is 3 starred. 
All right, so last up, we have an attack against this base right here. As you can see, the air bombs are kind of exposed here, so my plan was to send my battle machine for the air bombs. And in order to do that, I used my baby dragons to help funnel the battle machine. Uh, as you can see, I deployed one baby dragon here to cut off the path towards the south and then another baby dragon to to aim for the gold storage and uh, help the battle machine reach the air bombs and the tesla that pops up there unfortunately my battle machine is only level one so it didn't quite manage to to destroy the tesla and the air bombs which was kind of disappointing because the plan worked out really well but I quickly deploy another baby dragon for the air bombs and one for the Tesla. Now, unfortunately, I was a little bit too eager with that last baby dragon, so it canceled the rage, but it did work out. Um, the air bombs were destroyed and the firecrackers will be destroyed as well. So this is a three star. All right, so that's it for this time. I hope you found this helpful. And if you haven't upgraded your baby dragons yet, then maybe this will encourage you to do so. Now, don't forget to let me know in the comment section what army compositions or troops you want me to use in the next three-star video as I will begin upgrading new troops very soon and try to find more ways to three-star Builder Hall 5 bases. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.